Well, welcome to the Instant Karma Lounge here at the cabin at the Sundance Film Festival. I'm with Dan and Ken, who their film at Slam Dance is Big Fur. Kind of a play on Big Sur, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> uh, about Bigfoot, which is an incredible subject to me because being Gen X and growing up in the 70s, I was like Loch Ness Monsters uh, in search of with Leonard Nimoy. I mean, all those pseudoscience things that were like, you know, Chris Geller doing the bending the spoons. But I checked out books on Bigfoot all the time when I was a kid. And uh, so this is exciting. So tell me about your, your film here. Well, it's a documentary. It's biographical about Ken Walker, who is the best taxidermist in the world. Ken uh, kind of has a thing about Bigfoot. And throughout the film, he makes a Bigfoot based on the images from the frames of the famous Patterson-Gimlin film from 1967, which he has analyzed to death. Which, by the way, was on eBay a few years ago. Someone was trying to sell the original Patterson print. I didn't know if it was legit or not. There's a lot yeah. of, uh, you know, I controversy have... over what the original print is and And where I've had it nightmares is. as a kid over that, because when it turns to look at you, that's when I freaked out yeah. as a kid. You can catch it walking away, but when it goes and it does that look, yeah. I mean, that's just like burned in my memory. So. Sure. So you've watched every frame, Ken? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've watched it. Uh, it's, it's, what's really interesting is when it turns and looks back, it's actually watching Bob Gimlin pull his 30 odd 6 out of his scabbard. Uh, if you ever want to see the Bob Gimlin interviews on what happened that day, they're amazing. So how did you guys connect? How did you... Well, what? I wanted to make a movie about taxidermy, and I knew it would be character-driven, and I was kind of following several people, uh, mostly through a forum called taxidermy.net, and uh, I knew about Ken, and uh, Ken's kind of special in the industry. You know, taxidermists tend to specialize in birds or fish or mammals, mm -hmm. and Ken can do all those, but... He's known for his recreations, which are endangered or extinct animals made out of other animal hides. So, you know, he made an Irish elk and a giant panda and a saber-toothed tiger, and these were, like, big, kind of a big deal within the industry. Uh, and so when he told me he was going to make a Bigfoot and take it to the World Taxidermy Championships, <laughs> I thought, there's a great movie right there. That's awesome. So you're not going to get the real Bigfoot and stuff him? Is that um, we'll see. <laughs> We need to study them first, right? Yeah, right? So tell me about the logistics of creating this Bigfoot. Uh, it, basically, I created it like anything else. What I did is I templated the, uh, the, the, the frames, but first I had to come up with a size template. So in one of the frames, the foot is up. You can see the foot. You can see all the toes, the pads, and I know that's 15 inches long. So I used that as a size template, and I compared it to the other people who have done site surveys and it matched identically with John Green's uh, template on size and so that's what I did I basically I went from every joint every bone length and then I built it in pieces and then I carved the whole thing out and put it together uh, you know from from the photographic reference and if there was anything I wasn't sure of like eye color I just went into witness accounts you know the amber brown for the eyes uh, and then I talked to witnesses about the expressions. Everything, nothing was a guess in there except for maybe the ears. I had casted gorilla ears. I used gorilla ears. Uh, but other than that, nothing was a guess. Everything had some sort of, some some sort of, of uh, evidence behind it. You know. Yeah, there was some sort of yeah. If you you didn't use your imagination. You used no, records to no, recreate I, this. And yeah, I mean, there's there's handprints that have been casted. I used those to to make the shape of the hands. And the footprints for the shape of the feet, all of it. And by the time it was done, it was how tall and how heavy? It was uh, just under seven feet tall. It's a female. <laughs> uh, the one in the Patterson-Gimlin footage is a female. And uh, I've had quite a few people who've seen them saying that's exactly what they saw. And you can see it here on display, right, at Slam Dance? It is right now. She's set up in the Treasure Mountain Inn in the lobby. And uh, well, the lo logistics of getting that here it couldn't be easy. Well, it, it requires a big fur van, <laughs> which I have. And you may see that driving around, too. And uh, we're going to move her around occasionally around Main Street. And we're doing a little Instagram giveaway for <laughs> tickets to the screening on Monday. And last, lastly, you have a name for it? A uh, name for the... the for Bigfoot. What uh, is we, your creation? We call her Patty. Oh, that's good. Like Patty, because that was the subject. The subject in the film uh, throughout the community of Bigfooters is known as Patty. Oh, really? And so we just call her Patty. Oh. 
Great subject matter. And she'll answer to Patty. Uh, <laughs> Very exciting here at Slam Dance, guys. Thanks so much. I can't wait to see the film. Enjoy the rest of the festival. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.